For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win, they are all worthless trash. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth, and everybody else. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means, unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right, just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know. What I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. <coughs> Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits... Oh, shut up. Did Akane just smack him one? Sea and Punishment, Sin and Coconuts. Sounds like a really cool cocktail. Byakuya and Teruteru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed toward the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Straight in with it. Oh. Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh. Yo. Uh. Good morning. Just as I thought, the atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Byakuya, who appointed himself our leader, was killed, and the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel huh? sad. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. And you'd know? I guess some people don't feel so sad. Cause, cause... It's like what happened. Byakuya and Teru Teru got killed. Go. I'm not talking to you, you ugly bitch. Oh. Well, we're back there now, are we? Why are you always so mean to me? I still don't understand about Mr. Hamhands, but is there even a reason to be sad about Teru Teru's death? 
Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you trying to justify murder? No. No, that was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash bastard who committed the lowest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. Yeah, but Hiyoko, you're quite unhinged yourself. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spawned him too. Hmm? hmm? Jeez! What gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not that, but... Smells. Something smells, don't you think? Huh? Again? It can't be. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Hmm. No, it's not the smell of blood this time. It just smells really bad. It smells bad? Um. It's kind of like how a bar or a nightclub smells after closing time, you see. Oh, God, not that kind of smell. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Yeah, especially considering we're all high school students. Now that you mention it. I do smell something like sewer or rotten garbage. I got it! I know what it is. Nekamaru's breath probably stinks. That or he's just had a massive <laughs> shit. <laughs> You've got me there. Wow. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. No, it's not Nekamaru. The smell's coming from... You, Hyoko. Hmm? Huh? Whoa! It's true. Hyoko, you what reek. What did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eyes as if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. Uh. <laughs> How old oh, are you, mind. Hyoko? I said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was close. No, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. Yeah, but then you'll taste it. <laughs> like. Are you even taking baths? <laughs> she asked people that bathe her a bit. No. <laughs> you, you, you haven't bathed? <laughs> I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. Hey. Hyoko, you, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? <laughs> I can untie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Oh, I thought she was going to shoot it down then. I love you, my hero. I'll give you a kiss. Hey. Yoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot escape. She appears to have taken a liking to you. <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. Wait, what? The air's suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. I guess I have these guys to thank. Um. Anyway, but what happened to Fuiko and Nagato? It seems they're both not here. Now you mention it, you're right. Not that we really want to see Nagato. I saw Fuyuhiko er earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagero? <laughs> he is cursed. A child summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... Just let you know, I, I don't know anything. I have no idea! Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagero at all. That's right! He's right. Forget him. Let's just forget about that creep already. Huh? 
They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Did they like give him a beatdown? Of course not. I I'm not suspicious. Impossible. That's right. I am not suspicious. <laughs> what? What's the matter? What's up? Did someone get kidnapped or something? You came just at the right time. Hmm? At the right time? No, it, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness. So your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. My body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that? Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, I'm on a beast. One of them just disappeared. Huh? One of the mana beasts disappeared? Hmm. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell you. But this. that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mana beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Mm. Though this merely prelude, the climax will occur soon after. Now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire existence. I'm still being called a stuffed animal? Oh, well, looks like you guys don't know anything about mono beasts either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. A wise catbot once said, our eyes on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Munakuma said those familiar sounding words to us, once again, he disappeared. No way. Hey, what do you think he just meant now? He said something about a mono beast disappearing. Hmm. The only possibility I can think of is... Um... Were you in the middle of something? If so, I can just come out later. Huh. Then leave. Yeah. At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mono beast? Yes, that's right. I'm the one who defeated that mono beast. You did? Are you serious? Defeating a monster like that, how the hell did you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. Anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can get to the new island across the bridge, right? Is that true? <laughs> That's totally right. Now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live fun, happy lives together for sure this time. Love, love. La, la, love, love, love. Um. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Jeez. Of course, escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling hollow type action film. That doesn't sound too bad. I want to live a life where I can be more average, a life where nothing happens. That's better for me. All right. If you find anything that can be salvaged for both parts, let me know immediately. Um. It seems that everyone's united on paths that are different from what I had planned. But isn't that kind of what you wanted? Now then, let us begin. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? 
What does that... Hey, hey! Hajime, just leave that thing alone already? After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems everyone's attention has shifted toward exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation. Everyone filed out of the restaurant. So now I'm in charge. Ladies and Gentiles, my name is Miles, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Kind of went straight into it there, didn't it? I didn't really have much of a chance to kind of do my intro then. But um, what Monomi was on about is that she's unlocked a new mode where you can see what happens when she takes on the Mono Beasts. Maybe I'll do that in another video. I don't quite know, but we'll see what carries on. So we have just finished the trial now of Byakuya's murder, which was uh, by Tero Tero Hanamaru for many reasons. But it also appears Nagito is also quite the psychopath. And I will say now this is all new to me. So let's see what we can do. Hello, lovely lady and not so lovely non-bathed lady. Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues too. Aww. You can't. You promise you tie my kimono, Sash. Hey. That was, we can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but if I don't hurry and take a bath, they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. Yeah, yeah. Then let's take a light shower first. Yay! We're gonna wash each other. Huh? B what? B what? What? Wash hey. each other? I don't think that's a good idea for me to go into. <laughs> now, now, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But. But. Let's go! Yoko pulled Maharu's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and. Headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see washing each other, huh? I don't know. But what I have decided is I'm going to pursue Fuyuhiko a little bit. Because we haven't seen much of him. And... There's just something about him. Like... You know, with what happened with him during the party. Is there anything in here? Can we even go in here again? We need to do our best to make sure there aren't any more incidents. Oh, so we can't go in there anymore. Um, yeah. Is Fiko around? The show's room? Yeah, there it is. Is he around? Oh, I have to go to the new island now? That's nice. Let's go. Oh, I need to check my uh, pet. No pooping. We don't like poop. Although, how many coins have I got now? Like 117 coins? I am going to buy more gifts. I probably won't show the entire thing. But I want more things. More gifts are good, right? But we're going to see what the new island has first. We have a bit of free time. So I'm guessing island 2. I can't remember which mono beast has gone. Um, is this the right way? There's Monokuma Rock. Which definitely did not have. Can we even go in there again? I can't make a detour anytime I want. I just hurry up and investigate the new island. Okay. Okay, I've done a bit of walking. Is there a poop? No poop. Being extra vigilant of that poop hitch. Have I gone the wrong way? I get a feeling that I have. I've gone the wrong way. I've massively gone the wrong way. Hey, there's a random lighthouse there. Importante. Oh, you're still there. So which Mono Beast was gone then? Hmm. Interesting. Snake's still there. 
Come on. Come on, Hajime. Ooh, has anything changed here? Nope. We gotta go straight to the island. We're going to Ibiza. Oh. Back to the island. She's right. The mana beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right. I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. That looks like the school. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Well, now's not the time to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave the island. I need to find it. That definitely looks like the school from the first one, just overgrown. Oh, we're on a road now as well. No poop. Go this way. Um, I can't read any of that. Ancient ruin. That is definitely the school. Don't bullshit me, game. That is the school. What? What is this enormous building? It has the ambiance of an ancient ruin, but its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. Hey, Chiaki? Uh, sorry, I was dozing off for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? Mm. It looks like some sort of ruin or a historical landmark. Ancient ruins? That's what you think too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin. Don't you think? I don't know how to say clearly, but... Yep. Yeah, it's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place. I'll check around here a bit more so you can go somewhere else. See? Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Jeez, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile is so innocent. It's even more annoying to deal with. That is definitely the, the Hope's Peak Academy. Do, do. Oh, so I'm level 18. Is that... Is that the abilities that I can, like, use? Wow, I have... I still have no points. Uh, that's pretty bad. Oh, I see a Monokuma. Wow, that's an impressive amount of books. It's probably a library, but nevertheless... It looks pretty overwhelming. That was my mic. Oh wow. Huh? I've been found. Yes, you have. The books on the shelf, what language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. This is a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. Sorry, Sonia. I see. I see. Such an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? The dictionary. The newest issue of Occult Magazine? It breaks the lid of underground mysteries and the world wonders of the world. That's quite a surprise. Oh yeah, she's really into the occult, isn't she? It's, it's not like I read it often. I'm just reading it because it has a special article about serial killers. 
That's not a good excuse at all. However, it seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Hmm. That Genocide Jack or whatever, I feel like I've heard about her before. Wait, Most her? Tight. Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She is very popular among youths and is known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. But wow. apparently she is a high school or middle school student who wears similar a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? Ah, this one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kind of exclusive articles. I shall explain to you just in case. Sparkling justice is a serial killer who calls himself the ally of justice. Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonia, Sonia calm down. Amazing. Thanks to the mask spirit Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or genders. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes? Hey. You two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about me and murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please wait. Please, hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is very important matter. Serial killers, their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am totes intrigued. Is this kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who's obsessed with serial killers. Yeah, I'm sorry. Genocide Jack. You're referring to them as a her. Make your mind up. What's on this bookshelf? What a lot of books. A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. Same bookshelf? Nope. Is, is that everything? Destroyed statue. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean, Usami, before she got redesigned. It looks like it broke when it got dropped, getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue. That's, that's pretty sad. There's one over here as well. Wow. The bronze statue of Monami before she got redesigned. Wow, this is actually a really impressive library. Right, what have you got, Peko Peko Yama? I agree that serial killers have different values than normal people, but why does that make them marvelous? Sonya's values might be a little different compared to our own. Well, she is a princess after all. Anything else? No. And the surveillance cameras again. I love that name, Sonya, never mind. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true, and just as expected, nobody's here either. You're right, the fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Ding, 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 ding. Ta da Damn, my is here! I'm reading a book! <laughs> Since you came here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um. I see. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you needed a place where you can do homework. Ta-da! So I've prepared this library. 
prepared you? Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. What? Don't act like a teacher. Hey. I am a teacher. You're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's the real identity? What's your purpose? That's... Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye. <laughs> Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. Yeah, there is something with Monomi. I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. According I see. to this island's guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay here for weeks at a time. Which means? These are all probably things that they donated. But hold on. Did you just say this island's guidebook? I found it in this library. Do you want to take a look? What, what language is this? I have no clue. It's English. Then... Then I shall read it to you on your behalf. You can read it, Sonia? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean known for being paradise of eternal summer. That's what it says. This is exactly what Byakuya told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts while the central island houses a large administrative building. Monokuma Rock? Huh? It is strange, no? I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island? There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things that were there were Monokuma Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... Are you talking about the bronze statue that turned into the mana beasts? But that statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait! That is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted build bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment, so none were built. What does that mean? Then what were you using to move between islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island like Palm Jumeirah. Palm Jumeirah? Artificial island? Well? Palm Jumeirah is a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That especially might be why we're the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old. It contradicts everything in the island's current situation. Well done. My, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey, hey! However, those guys are the only ones who could do something with such a massive scale. Those guys? Th those guys? Hmm. The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about. Oh, it's getting late again. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? That was a slip of the tongue. I should excuse myself before it leaks on the internet. Hey, hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? 
This island is completely artificial? There's, there's no way that's true. There's no way. That guidebook is probably just old. You're right. That's right. That's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things to confuse us. Damn it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Anything from you, Pekko? You literally don't have anything to say on what we just... Okay. Guess we're done in the library. I felt like a... Oh, a pharmacy. Why does your neon light seem very different? And the diners are right next to each other too. Interesting. Mikan, if you're not in here, I'd be very surprised. Wow. That is an impressive pharmacy. That is a very impressive pharmacy. Oh, there's the camera. I was like, there's no camera. Oh, Mikan. Eh, eh. What's with you? I'm sorry, I got so excited, I started shouting. I was so happy that someone talked to me. Before people either hated me or were grossed out by me. Why? Those are such sad choices. More importantly, is this a drugstore? It looks pretty spacious. But it looks like there's no one here either. With all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. <laughs> if you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. That sounds dangerous when it comes to shots. I should definitely decline. These shelves are crammed with lots of stuff that look like medicine. Unlike the medicines I'm used to seeing, these ones look more potent. Well, those are supplements, as you can see. You got your whey protein and your different proteins. You got your boxes up there full of probably protein bars and they look more protein. We have medicines over there. Ointments. What was that? Oh, you're back on that one now. Okay, we'll get off you. Thought there's something over here. And what's on this? Cold compresses and warm compresses. And uh, did oh, hi, Monokuma. You sly little bugger. I knew you could do it. Uh, random detergents. Detergés. Nothing, nothing else for me to see, you know? Okay, can I just go now, then? <laughs> Shot. No, seriously, I'm fine. I, I have enough energy. Okay, she's a crazy little bit. No poop from you yet. That's what I see. Oh, wrong button. That seems like a very random uh, one shot kind of place. Now we go to the diner. What you what you called? Oh, I don't care. Parking. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. No, I want to see that seagull right there. Did, did you not see the seagull? Oh, this looks nice. Huh? That looks like... Huh? Oh, it, it's you. Dumbass. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Fuikyo suddenly started yelling at me as he held a hamburger in one hand wait hold on why is he here he wasn't at the restaurant why does he know about the new island i don't care i want a i want a burger i want a burger anything else hidden anything else wow there's literally nothing else to do in here apart from talk to fuhiko but I want a burger. Hey, why are you here? How'd you find out we can go to this island? 
Are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? Shut the hell up! I told you to leave me alone when I'm eating. Jeez. An annoying person went out of their way to tell me. Annoying person? Then I found this place, and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. Mystery solved. You happy, you happy now? So get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Hey, about that annoying it's person. It's got nothing to do with you. Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I don't know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck on this island. We all have to work together. You should know that by now, too. So, why are you avoiding us? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you, bastards. I've just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone. <laughs> that includes the Kazuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Hey, are you actually... Don't misunderstand. Don't get it twisted. I'm a Yakuza by blood. It's not like I don't want to be the head of a family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Huh. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to lead it. Oh, you have a little sister? Shut the hell up! Why'd you let me bring that up anyway? brought that up yourself anyway I don't intend to spend my time with you guys nothing good can come of it nothing good can come of it hm. isn't it obvious in this kind of situation interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan those idiots Byakuya and Teru Teru are proof of that hm. plus it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's my time to kill. You're still saying that. Of course. I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful for just saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission, so don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. What the hell? It was stupid of me to talk to a guy like him. But we're gonna do it. We are gonna make friends with Fuyuhiko. Do I need to clean up any poop? Yeah, no poop for you. Can I speak to you again? It feels weird that there's literally nothing in here to kind of do. Okay, then it appears I can leave there. There's literally nothing I can do there? Well, there's a tunnel. The diner's signboard is spinning. Spinning Russian signboard on an uninhabited island? It's kind of, it's kind of freaky. Wait, was there something else there? No. Well, let's have a look at Chandler Beach. A rude not to. Oh, okay. A scream? That voice just now, wasn't that Ibuki? Oh, I see you. I'll just uh, uh, no, no, oh no. Ibuki, are you alright? What happened? Emergency! This, this is bad. I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words. Wow, I'm surprised I even read that myself. What's going on? <laughs> the, the, the killing, the killing started again. Huh? Pointing. Look, over there. So I glance over the beach where Buki was pointing her finger. That can't be. 
Your speed is adequate, but it's still not enough. Each blow you land is too soft. Oh, the sparring. What the heck is that? You're not using your muscles properly. Your athletic body is going to waste. Shut up. All I gotta do is win. What was that? You're gonna win? Against me? That's quite absurd! <laughs> oh! Right in the baby maker. Huh? Not enough. You learned your lesson. We're done he's, for. he's done it. Nakan Nakamaru Nadai's ultimate move. Super body blow. That's instant death. If she's lucky, she'll live another five minutes at best. Sheesh. Akane, at your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What well, what are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? They've got to be sparring. Huh. This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. Oh, that's even worse. The rules for the, clear, the school trip clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training! <laughs> what violence? That's not a real fight. We're training. But it looked like a real fight. Huh? I'm just a team manager. There's no way I'd be able to fight for real. Training! <laughs> we both agreed to this training session. I'm not violating any rules at all. Even so, why the sudden interest in training? <laughs> if I gotta admit what it, she's alive? Fool. She's not a weakling who get killed by a weak blow like that. He looked pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. Some romance. I thought sparring would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Aww. What a bunch of bottle loving troublemakers. I see. Akane, you seem you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I should give you just one piece of advice. How do you use your body? How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing? It's all half assed. You're not using your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Pay attention! Basics. Make sure you understand the basics and you'll be second rate if you just rely on instinct. You. God damn it, that is so true. Shut up. Then. If you understand what I just said, come see me. When the time comes, I will fight you once again. Don't forget. <laughs> you better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I'll show you my serious side. I won't give up until I beat ya. With wobbling steps, Akane left the beach. However, if she fought that fiercely with just her own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl. She's probably, She's probably gonna get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. What kind of conversation is this? Yeah, because they're actually talking. I'm not used to that. Huh? Are you serious? I'm deadly serious. Um. So let's talk with you then. Oh. You too. Basics are the foundation for everything. No, I get that, but. Training that resembles an actual fight might be fun, but just be careful not to get hurt, both of you. Impossible! Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a team manager. Okay. <laughs> the more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what being a battle lover is all about. What kind of conclusion is that? It's true, though. It's true. But also what Nekamaru said was true. If you relied just on instincts, you'll just become like second rate. I thought this was a beach house since it's near the edge of the beach. It looks pretty luxurious. I guess it's a celebrity style beach house. Well, Kazuichi's smiling and I see sodas there, so it's going to be pretty happy. But yeah, like even I've learned that you cannot rely on instinct without training. Um... 
Maybe one day I'll go into detail on that. Okay, Kazuichi, we'll talk. Yo! Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like a celebrity's pad or something. The shower is out of order, but the ambiance is nice. And the fridge is stocked with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach outside feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to the urban areas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. We're the only ones in this island anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Hey, hey! Hey, hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. That's right! More importantly, why don't we splash around at this private beach? <gasps> oh, awesome. Totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. He's his usual happy-go-lucky self. Well, I guess that's one of his good look, uh, good qualities. Miss Sonia! I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You can't! Whoa! It's here? Hey! Why, why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? I won't forgive you. Changing in the beach house is prohibited. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. Uh, so you mean changing here is allowed, not going to the beach itself? Huh? Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. You might let her down, though. Got it? <laughs> anyway, breaking the rules is not allowed. Also, playing is fine, but please focus on your studies, too. What you the f- guys? Where, where is the rule baker? I beat the crap out of them. No questions asked. Um, uh, um, why have you got a gun? W what are you holding? A machine gun, obviously. Rule breakers will be shot to death. That's just common sense. Hey, hey, hey! It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but... I really want to shoot something right now. He's going to shoot Monami, isn't he? Can, can control yourself. Hold it in. I have Hold it in. iron willpower, so I will endure it. No matter what the cost. Until the day someone breaks the rules. Um. As you can see, it's very dangerous, so please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh. That was totally bizarre and very annoying. Yeah, I feel tired all of a sudden. There's a lot of drinks in here like water and coffee, but most of the drinks have colored dyes that might be bad for your health. Can we drink these for free? Anyone in the closet? Looks like this is a closet. Um, The inside is looks like a small storage room, almost like a walk-in closet. The surfboard's arranged on the shelf, but I'm not into surfing, so it doesn't really matter to me. It looks like this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction, something like that. Okay, well, this door leads to the road by the tunnel, which reminds me. When we mentioned Nagero at the restaurant, Kazuichi looked pretty unsettled about something. I guess I should ask him about that. Which reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? What? Well, it's about Nagero. Whoa! Um, <clears throat> I haven't seen the guy all day. Do you know where he is? Well... I don't know. Seriously, don't, don't ask me. Who cares about oh, that crazy-ass bastard? We need to search this island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. How annoying. So let's just end all the annoying talk right here. That's it. All done. He ended the conversation very forcibly, just as I thought. He's definitely hiding something. Hajime. Oh, hi. It's you. What happened? Well... Um, I'm letting everyone else know too, but can you come to the ancient ruins on the island right away? You can, right? Right away. Okay, hurry up. 
Based on her pushy tone, she might have found some kind of clue. So then I guess I should head over to the ancient ruins. Okay, guess that's done then. I mean, Hope's Peak Academy, yeah? Oh? What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, it is clearly faded. It looks like an ancient ruin. Well, seems perhaps this is an actual ancient ruin. What's going on? How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? You mean like a Hope's Peak Academy? Now that you mention it, I don't know how, but I do see what she means. Either that, or, you know, the location for House of the Dead 3. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy? Well, there are a lot of similar looking buildings. It's just a coincidence this ruin looks similar. It's a coincidence, right? Hmm. You found something, right, Chiaki? What did you find? Hey, bastard! I'll fucking cut you if this was a waste of time. Wow. I didn't know you were here also. The bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> did you maybe find a way to get off the island? Nope. Nothing like that. Aww. And who cares? I should have played in the bath with Mahiru more. Let me ask. Then what in the world did you find? Chiaki found something. I wonder what it is. Hey. Oh, that's Pekko. I like Pekko's not said anything. It appears. I've talked to everyone, but Nobody has seen Nagiro. However, however, Kazuichi and Nekamaru seem uncomfortable discussing it. What are they hiding? Huh? I didn't find anything at the beach that could help us escape. I hope we find something here. Um, what have you got to say? Probably something weird. Jeez. The heck, I wanted to play with Mahiru in the bath some more. Hey. It just occurred to me, but have you seen Nagiro anywhere? No, I haven't seen him. Hmm. I see. Get it together! Jeez, this goes for Fuyiko too. But you boys should really get a hold of yourselves. True, we are actually a bit uncontrollable. Hey, Chiaki, what did you find? If it's not a way off this island, does it have something to do with the island's secret? Hmm. About that... I don't know. Hey. What do you mean you don't know? Hmm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it and it feels unnatural. Um. It's like a comic book originally about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. It's unnatural like that. That's a little hard to understand. See? Look. That door over there. You mean the giant vault tech looking door? Yeah, this is so the place at House of the Dead 3. Just saying. It's not, by the way, but it looks like it. There was a giant machine gun which looked really out of place. Not gonna lie. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but this is the door you mean, right? That's right. Yeah, it looks like the door to the ruin. Hey. So what's wrong with the door? Can you go inside? Um. Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of the dust and clearing some of these roots off the door. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. For now. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. Yeah, you're right. Just as Chiaki said, we brushed off the dust and cleared the roots that were stuck to the door. And then... What is this door? It doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. What's going on? 
it's like a door from a sci-fi movie. Don't you think? It definitely doesn't fit with the ancient ruin. And what is this symbol on the door? Oh? It looks like it's Japanese. Oh! And you, you're totally right. Um. I'm sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. To me, it looks like it says Mirai or future. Future? Bastard! Who cares about a symbol on a fucking door? More importantly, how do you open it? What's inside? Hey. It looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Can then two be related? Hey. Oh, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably to set, probably set to open when you type the password. Yes, yes. I think all high and mighty. So what's next? It's obviously impossible to put in the password without any hints. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can't open it? But Yakuza can? That's hilarious. Shut up! If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Hold it. I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? What do you mean dangerous? I don't know. The like, fuck off gun. Cause that thing next to the panel. Doesn't it look like a gun? In fact, that's totally a gun. A gun? That's a gun? So... If it is, it's probably very dangerous. It's possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Yeah. Damn it. Can't be helped. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up! You do it then. Hmm. But still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door that looks like it's from a sci-fi film. It's definitely unnatural. It's probably for an important place. Hmm. Important place, huh? The problem is. Oh. Silence, You're huh? both quiet? I'll beat you up! You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. I'm sorry. No, I have I have no idea at all. I don't know either. Um For now, everyone should focus on gathering the hope fragments. I won't be hey, fooled! There's no way you guys don't know. Just show up and tell us some lousy lies. Um, you guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Um, Just as I thought, you guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, hey don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you nasty pig bar. <laughs> Say you're sorry, bitch. <laughs> I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. Why do you hate her? Is it possible that there's a connection between this door and the reason the island is inhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter and there might be natives inside. Hey. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If if so, we're all screwed. You're getting all riled up! Some several possibilities crossed hmm. my mind, but it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. That door is really sturdy, but not in a material sense, more, more essential than that. Huh? What are you saying? Hey, um... For instance, even though Monomi and I can come and go as we please, we can't enter what's beyond that door. Oh, uh... You can't go inside too? Does that mean you're the same as me and... Hey! Keep your tongue in your mouth! Yeah. My body can't handle a supersonic meteor rush like that! <laughs> <laughs> well now... There, now that I've shut my sister up with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist... This is the Mysterious of Jabberwock Island. A mystery that even Monomy and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> Seems easy enough. 
All we've got to do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. He's going to pick up on that, isn't he? Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Hope's Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island. I got it! That's right. That's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group. Just, 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 just kidding. I know. There's a traitor among us. That's what the ugly Tanuki said before. He's not going to pick fine, up on that. Fine. Calling me ugly Anna Tanuki. It's kind of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Hello. He's totally depressed. If there's a traitor, they probably don't know how to open the door, right? And there's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Oh. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding there. What? Do you really think there's a traitor among us? No shit. Of course there is. Who the hell is it? Come on. Hurry up. Confess. Come on. Yes. There isn't. There's no traitor anywhere. Hey, bastard. Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> you fiend. That's so funny. Hey, hey! Oh, just have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? World Ender. Yeah. I'm asking you a question. Don't just change the subject. Come on! I understand why you just ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So, remember when the only middle school students, no wait, elementary students would come up with it? Yeah! The name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what? So what is this organization? <laughs> it's literally what it says. I don't Those guys it. ended the world. <laughs> and ended the world? Hey! Um, That's not even an overstatement or a metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end end the world. So you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? So basically, you mean they're a terrorist organization? Hmm. Terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. What's going on? So, what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. World Ender, are you saying that you and Monomi are also members of the organization? The only thing I can tell you is the organization that the traitor is working for, the one who brought you to this island, what? World Ender is behind it all. Are you kidding me? Why are we being targeted by the horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. It's just another made up story to trick us, like when we said we lost our school memories. Yeah, but you actually have, though. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World Ender. There's no way that organization or the traitor exists. Stay back. Monokuma, I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want while I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. <laughs> I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? What the heck? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and, and that to, to, to your various body parts. Silence! Anyway, I'm telling the truth. The World Ender organization is the final boss of this island. Plus, one of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you gotta find that traitor and kill them dead. Hey! You better stop. Shut up, Monami. Big brother defying trash like you needs to be punished. 
Oh. No. Don't pull my ears, they're gonna come off. Manu, Manukuma and Manami depart from the area, leaving the rest of us dazed and confused. What was that just now? What's going on? Is there anybody who understood what he was talking about? Um. Not exactly. <laughs> you tired again? Hey, hey. For now, since, since the sun is setting, we should go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. You're probably right. Hey. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better choice. Let's just call it a day. After exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads up and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. I'm missing two. I'm dead tired from walking around all day. Jeez, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? I have no idea what's going on anymore, and I don't feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. With that, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apple, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I don't like red foods at all. Red foods are, like, are red because they have crab inside of them. It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry to try and make us overcome my disgust. To make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never ever eat red foods. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Please look forward to the next Monokuma Theater! Make sure you guys are careful too. What? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning already, huh? It feels like morning came so quickly, like the night got skipped or something. That explains why I feel so tired. But I'm hungry, so I should go to the restaurant and eat something. And that is a perfect place to end this episode. So thank you for taking some time out of your day and joining me on this epic adventure. I will see you in the next video. That was my earphone again. But until then, Miles, out. <laughs>